Hello there and welcome back to Let's Play on the Rain Slick Precipice of Darkness episode 1. I am the Iron Genius, but you may call me Eric. And we left off... Li at least the lizard thing you have seen all day. What is it? Ah, it's supposed to be a little piece of an apple. Oh, maybe they can give me advice. Gerhard Kettle in Hobo Alley needs meat. Perhaps there is an ironic solution. That Gerhard guy needs meat, and it doesn't seem like he's too particular about the source. Yeah, but how... but what way to mark it? As meat he wants. In the last episode we got a big as winding uh, key for the robot, and also we talked to this German man. He looks for a source of meat. I have meat, but it's not marked as a delicacy, that is why he doesn't want to buy it. Must be an invis invitation only establishment. Ooh, a concept art. Well, that's as easy as it goes. I wonder what that simple solution is supposed to be. I don't know. Not off the top of my head. Poor hobo man. Door. Oh, there's a, a, a fight that I did not fight yet. Because I've overlooked it. That's nice. Three of them. Oh, that could be tough. That could start getting rough, and the winner is you. Let's actually use that. Grooming or dooming? Yeah, looks like grooming. Counter attack, very nice. That's usually what I want to see in this game. Swat. Oh, partial block, that's not good. I blocked that, that is good. Counter attack, awesome! I just have to attack this guy and then I can probably beat him like this. Down, down, left, up, down, left, up, down. Very nice. Now I can kill this guy as well. Ah! So close! He didn't die yet. Counter attack, awesome. I think Tycho has about enough overkills. So I need to get one more with Gabe. And probably on this guy. <laughs> because that guy just died. Partial block, that's good, I didn't counter-attack him. Missed block, that's fine. Good, full damage, and there you go. That should be about all the overkill meters full that I have access to. Oh no, I need one more on Gabe. And that'll be that. Then I have as much damage as I can have right now. Which is not a whole lot, to be, to be fair, but still. First aid kit. That is something very useful. Hmm. Maybe to that Gerhard guy is gonna be happy with what I have to offer him? At the urinologist's dude? Is that booze? That was booze. There was this guy back here who didn't want to talk to me. You. Can you help me with my meat? You have a big belly button. Are you boiling pea? I smell. I think I smell pea. Are you boiling pea? No! I can't. I haven't. I won't. Blah, 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 blah. Good day. Ah. No. Okay. Can't do anything here. Can I, well, put my meat into that pea pot? I hope I will never see that, uh, say that again. Can I put my meat into that pea pot? 
Who are you? Dr. Arnold P. Wimple. Hmm. He's never gonna help me. Alright. Eggplant looks like wing Lincoln. Okay. Well, let's let's explore the hobo alley, to, uh, hobo alley to its full its full to its fullest. Try to get that last overkill on Gabe, and uh, try to solve the meat mystery. Exactly. The meat mystery. And if I can figure out how that works, I'm just gonna go ahead and look it up. Two enemies? Two enemies. The winner is you. Could use that. Oh, what does she do? Flamethrower. Weak with, with versus blowtorch. Okay. But that was quick. Hit points plus and defense and attack. That's nice. And a bunch of robot parts. I actually probably can upgrade another weapon now. But I don't know for sure. Empty. That's the shithole. Nothing here. Ah, it's locked. Can't go in there yet. Okay, that makes this easy. It means I'm just gonna have 60 out of 122. Hmm. Do I have enough parts? Like, I need 42, I think, to upgrade the rake. I think. Let's see if we have enough. And we can talk to her about the winding key too. I have enough ar parts to upgrade now. You have 45 and I need 42. Yep. Is there anything you can do with this uh, rake? Yes, absolutely. I can have the maid take it to the street with, another gar with the other garbage. And clear size. I shall do my best. Slightly better rake. Weapon upgrade. More powerful than your original rake, but, you know, still pretty much a rake. Oh, wait, no, I didn't... Mm. Talk to her again, I'm sorry. You might be intrigued by our strange winding key. A winding key would indeed be strange. It would imply that beyond every other odd feature this mach machine is spring-driven in some way. Quaint. Wouldn't they still need this thing? Why would they leave it around? Perhaps the key is only required during the activation phase? That or perhaps it's no longer necessary. Why are you all... It may be that our mysterious inventor perfected a new power source. Okay. That's good. I brought the key back. New power source. Awesome. What's with that telescope? Okay. Nothing. Pelican Bay it is. I have a feeling we are going to check out the shithole too soon, by the way. I don't think we're going to be able to get into Pelican Bay today. In this episode, I mean. As you approach, the waxen man in the booth appears to come to life. You, sir! That is to say, you, sir! Gabriel points to himself. Indeed, indeed, I singled you out at the first moment. I sensed it immediately. And what did you sense exactly? Is it not clear? Is it not apparent? This man thirsts for values. He craves them, body and soul. <gasps> He's right! Wow! Fate has brought us together, friend. It has knit our destinies. Who are you? 
I am Curtis Swindell, reputable vendor. I am the Pelican Bay Gate attendant as well as the Pelican Bay gift shop owner. I also operate the ticket booth and confessions, uh, concessions, everything really. I'm it. You know that we at Pelican Bay accept the only form of currency worth anything around here. Love? Perhaps let it be love. Please let it, let it be love. No, no. We accept only tokens. Boardwalk tokens, obviously. Tokens? Where am I supposed to get tokens? Why you get tokens the same way that everyone does. The only way you can. By trying your hand at the tr thrilling games of skill. Running even now behind this gate. Why don't you use cash? Why does this district have its own money? Well, I suppose I have my own purposes for them. But in there, on the walk, everyone just gives them to her. No one moves without her say so. When you say her, what do you... Ah, you'll find out soon enough. We need to get into the boardwalk. Oh, of course, of course. I'll just need to see your tickets. I assume we purchased those from you. Why would you assume something like that? Um, well, there really are a lot of reasons. Like, for example, you're standing in a ticket booth. Sir, sir, please lower your voice. But I... Sir, I, Curtis Windell, also act as security on the boardwalk. We are licensed to sodomize unruly visitors. I don't think I would like that. Well then, perhaps you'll mind your tone. Pelican Bay or the bloody board boardwalk. View this case log in the agency for details. You won't let us in there, why? Let's see what you've got for sale. In the misbegotten hovel of the booth, booth you can see. A suit stained gear. A tiny ferris wheel, which seems to be in excellent condition. An ornate looking horn. You want... How much for the gear? How much for that massive gear back there? Oh, you like it, do you? It's an antique. An import, yes, an imported antique from... From... Expansia? Tycho furrows his brow. Things from there are very costly, I'm afraid. What's it going to cost us? One token! What? Just one? Yeah, I don't really like it. I always wanted a ferris wheel. Oh, you have... Have you now? Have you really? Well, you get a kind of elevator, fe elevator feeling in the base of your stomach. It's not for sale, and besides, you couldn't afford it. You don't even want to know how much it is. How much is it? It's a million tokens! Wait, I mean a billion! So, how much is it? Do you even know? It's a million billion! Billion! That, that is a lot. Not really! How much for the horn? What a weird horn going for the uh, for these days. You like it, do you? Yes. We've had many people buy to look at it. They gaze upon it. Can't take their eyes off it, you see? Is that so? Curtis doesn't seem entirely certain. It's a broken porn phonograph horn. It actually it's actually missing the phonograph. That's one way of looking at it. I think that may be the only possible way to look at a broken phonograph horn. It's a challenging piece. I wouldn't expect just anyone to appreciate it. How much? God, just how many tokens? Let me say 10,000 tokens. 10,000 even. Yeah, we'll get back to you on that. Why won't you open the gate again? I forgot. Oh, you need a ticket. I think it's time to leave. Intimidating by intimidated by my selection, are you? It's understandable. Hmm. Let's actually check out the case log.
Because I have... Yeah. What? Two arms. The game is afoot. Search clues in Pelican Bay. Upgrade the weapons. Bring Gerhard some high quality meat to feed the hobos. Hmm. Find a ticket so Curtis Windell will let you into the boardwalk. Just find a ticket somewhere. It's probably not just gonna lie around, is it? Let's ask. And see what my characters have to say about that. That is also a thing I should consider. That's the big winding key right there in the back. You find nothing of interest in the drawers, at least nothing of interest to you. Ah. We must scour the city. No stone will will be left unturned, unless it's a very heavy stone. Tycho? Tycho doesn't want to talk to me. Or is it bra... Ah, we need to hit the streets for more clues. Okay. Or just ask her. Do you have anything smart to say? Welcome back. Pelican Bay. Uh huh. All right. She wants me to go to Pelican Bay. I don't know what to do at Pelican Bay, though. What a blast! Hmm. I I don't think I can go into the shithole right now. I really don't like the wording of that. But I don't think I can actually go in there. Do you have anything, anything smart to say? You've got to help me. We do? Well, it would be nice. Help with what? I'm James Filth. I collect trash. That's great, James. I, it's, it's good to have a hobby. I don't keep it. It's not for me. It's a garbage... It's, I'm a garbage man. Just listen to my goddamn story. Tell me your troubles, Trashmonger. So, I reached down lovingly, tenderly to pick up the morning garbage and it bit me. The who? What? The trash itself, not some rodent or savage, ho uh, or savage hobo? You heard right. Then it said my mom was a... Well, it said something mean about my mom. The garbage was rude. Living garbage, okay. Talking garbage, that's fine. But rude garbage, not on my watch. So you'll help? Well, Gabe here thirsts for murder and Eric just had his house demolished. So I think there might be some aggression there. Sorry to hear about that. What neighborhood? That was, on, on, uh, that was up on Desperation Street. Oh yeah, good trash up there. The rise of the refuse. Okay. Oh! What? That's exactly what I need. What did you say? I'll come back when I got the district. Oh! Well, old James is something special waiting for you. That's good. I'm gonna need that. Where did you come from? Blau. You're the winner. Defense up. No. How about defense down? Is he gonna use defense up again now? I would expect him to. Partial block. Oh well. It's a nice backflip right there. 
Ooh, good damage. Means I can now... Partial block speed down, that's not too bad. Overkill him. Boom! Wow, that was a lot of damage. Half that is 90, that would have still one shot him. Improved skills, cool. New attack! New attacks for Eric. Flourish, more challenging to pull off because the targets are moving, but causes more damage and inflicts a powerful bleed effect. A more powerful bleed effect. Nine trash cans remaining. I'll find you trash and I will kill you. It... Oh, that wimple. He put up... Is that an enemy? Yeah. Oh, I see. Hmm. I think I'm gonna give damage minus, damage plus to Eric. And then I should give him a speed up. Or no, I should use a speed down, uh, uh, defense down on that guy. So when Eric is has its turn, has his turn. Oh, missed block. That uh, speed down, no way. Shizzle. I blocked that one well. Oh, that's the tougher one, isn't it? One seventeen, that was not so powerful. Partial block. <laughs> okay, that's actually good damage, considering. The circumstances. Weak versus firearms, I remember that. I'm gonna give you a little bit of a speed boost now. Ah, partial block. Damn, am I... No, they're actually doing pretty well. Missed block again. Speed down. You gotta be joking. No! Damn, that, that sucked ass. Well, Tycho, you don't need to do your powerful attack. Fifteen bandages? Alright, I should probably use some of them. This block? Oh my god, I almost died. I think I haven't even gotten the full um, bar with Gabe, so I'm... Ah, no, that guy's a hobo. <laughs> So getting that down is pretty tough. I'm gonna use another basic attack. And then he's down to one HP, then I can actually use this grooming or dooming. Maybe I get an achievement out of this. I did! Nine lives! That's nice. Okay. I'm always happy about achievements. Additional hobo meat and one overkill bonus. Seven trash cans remaining. We've got enough meat for Gerhard, but I'm not sure he'll... he'll. Well, we are supposed to find some angry garbage, with, which is weird. I'll take it as it is. Trash with teeth! Trash with teeth! 
Don't know how to mask that meat, I wonder. Oh, it's been 25 minutes. Okay, then I'm gonna look up what what is up with that meat. I'm sorry, but I'm it's, it's, I'm gonna wander around and around and around, and I might as well just well look it up. I'm not gonna figure it out on my own anyway, so I didn't do it last time. I won't do it this time. So I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I hope I will see you in the next episode as well. Until then, bye bye.